Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings in the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking with ABI Research Director David McQueen. David will share insights into the current and future state of the mobile accessories and wearables market. So David, to get started, what kind of lasting impact will the COVID pandemic have on the wearables and accessories market? Yes, hi, thank you. Um, yes, indeed. So while the wearable sector as a whole has dipped in certain consumer sectors because of the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, some wearable types have become another weapon, you know, to track, monitor and fight the progression of the disease and its symptoms worldwide. Um, and with health obviously continuing to be at the forefront of most people's minds and use cases for many wearables, uh, new deployments and studies during the pandemic will boost the healthcare wearables market from what we anticipate from about 30 million shipments last year, increasing to about 104 million shipments by 2025. Huh, healthcare wearables. Sounds like there's an urgent need for specific technologies that would aid with the tracking and monitoring of COVID-19. Yes, uh, yeah, there is indeed. I mean, notably through a number of wearable deployments and initiatives aid in the fight against COVID-19, tracking its progress and monitoring the vitals of those who've been infected. So it, it be these wearables will measure daily biometrics, including heart rate, uh, blood oxygen levels, uh, heart rate variability, uh, autonomic uh, nervous system and recovery, sleep, and so much more in these, these product types. Wow, makes a lot of sense. Given these current market dynamics, what wearable, uh, and accessory product types will remain popular and which are losing consumer interest? Yeah, well, I mean, as a result of, you know, many people's lifestyle changes instigated by the pandemic, uh, the different wearables are now not only being used for wellness and fitness as I've done for many years uh, in the past, but also for tracking and monitoring purposes. So in particular, healthcare devices, smartwatches, smart clothing, uh, small, uh, sports, fitness, wellness trackers and bands, all been used to track the progression of and monitor patients with the disease. So us at ABI Research, we expect these types of wearables to see shipments increase from nearly 227 million last year in 2020 to 455 million in 2025, demonstrating the continued strong demand and product development of these wearable, of the, or these specific wearable device types. As mentioned, this is primarily due to the increasing number of use cases and improved features being packed into them, notably things like blood oxygen levels, uh, ECGs, uh, and heart rate monitoring. A further boost to the smartwatch market actually is also expected from the announced strategic alliance between Google and Samsung for a new unified platform for smartwatches, which is currently named Wear. So um, what the hope of this initiative is that it should see the market improve uh, some of the underpinning bugbears that are currently inherent in smartwatches. So that help through optimizing smartwatch battery life, enhancing app performance, and uh, uh, designing a central watch operating system, a smartwatch operating system for the Android platform. Interesting. It seems that wireless headsets are becoming increasingly popular. Can you tell us why? Yeah, well, the demand for wireless headsets has increased significantly over the past year, which, um, as most will know, you know, it's been led by Apple with its AirPods wireless earbuds. And this rise is not only due to the wider range of stylish and technically capable devices that exist in the market, but also, again, to the changes in consumer behavior and lifestyle caused by the pandemic. This can be seen through the growth of streaming services and video call conferencing platforms as more and more people have worked and been educated from home, driving the need for personalized audio experiences that minimize external distractions and achieve high quality sound experiences. At the same time, it's of no surprise that consumers have been uh, become far more conscious of health and mental wellness over the past 18 months, which has driven demand towards those headsets that are more technically advanced, such as having higher quality sound, are true wireless and are smarter. Um, this has in turn been led by advancements in spatial sound, noise cancellation, integration of digital assistance, and it's given rise to new use cases and applications. And notably, um, one of those is mental health tools, such as music therapy, which can treat anxiety and sleeping disorders. As such, the wireless headsets are very promising market, offering real value for consumers. And according to ABI Research's latest database, the total aftermarket wireless headset shipments of smartphones will reach approximately 689 million units in 2025. Wow. 
what up and coming technologies can be used to enhance the wireless headset user experience? Yeah, and upcoming advancements in sort of noise cancellation technology will enhance the user experience and support a wider range of use cases. Um, and moreover, you know, to, the true wireless headsets will become key drivers for the growth adoption of voice assistance, as voice control is, is starting to become the primary user interface for hands-free control of both smart, smartphones and smartwatches. Do these enhancements mean that we'll be hearing a lot more about hearables soon? Yes. Um, yeah, other important criteria that define leading hearables are the effortless user interface and seamless pairing with other devices. And that includes things like not just smartwatches, smartphones, smart TVs, and the swift and accurate execution of voice and touch commands in combination with sound, haptic feedbacks, head tracking, spatial sound capabilities, and selective sound case cancellation. Uh, last but not least, uh, you know, the long battery life and Bluetooth reliability with minimum lat latency are critical factors for the user experience, especially for applications such as gaming and video that require ultra low latency and audio synchronization. Finally, the, the exposure of the hearables market will unlock new opportunities for sports, media and entertainment industries to partner with leading hearable, hearable manufacturers, launching new audio content and delivering more immersive experiences. Huh. With 5G making inroads into smartphones, will we see similar wireless and cellular connectivity penetration rates for wearables and mobile accessories? Um, uh, in short, no, not yet. Um, I mean, despite a trend towards more wearables becoming self-connected through 4G, LTE, uh, mainly the, the smartwatches sector, they're still very much been used through it being tethered to a smartphone. However, there is a huge potential in the market for certain wearables to become divorced from the smartphone, notably smartwatches and healthcare devices. But move to 5G in such a small form factor device is highly challenging and complex. However, it can be argued that adding 5G may allow for better battery life, greater accuracy, improved reliability, while the faster connection and lower latency would mean apps could be stored on the cloud rather than on the device itself which in turn could mean that wearables will not have to pack in as many components and can therefore be made even smaller and sleeker than they are already. In addition, and return to the effects of the pandemic, many in the healthcare vertical across many different regions throughout the world believe that wearables are one of the essential ways to track, monitor and fight the progression of COVID-19 and its symptoms, not forgetting that they can also be applied to a whole host of other ailments. Once these various sensors, features and applications, as we have discussed, find greater rates of penetration across device types. Having such wearable devices also attached to a fast 5G connection will not only help aid the speed of crucial data to healthcare professionals, but also save valuable time and resources and improve the overall level of care for your patients. Wow, good stuff. Thanks so much, Dave. For more insight into the state of the mobile accessories and wearables market, visit abi.link slash M-D-W-E-A-R to view the full report.